Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to MTA and Justice for All, and we have got 32 of the baddest monster trucks on this side of the East Coast ready to get dialed in and ready to turn up some dirt for you fans. All of them shooting for one goal here tonight, and that is to claim the And Justice for All Championship. Devastator, Bigfoot, Overkill, Evolution, El Toro Loco, Medusa, we're all here and ready to go, and we're getting ready to kick things off with round one action coming up at And Justice for All, and up first, we have got Raylan Mullins and Medusa now set to take on Joey Andrews in the Black Stain Ford out of Hagerstown, Maryland. He is driving for K&J Motorsports. Raylan Mullins, the Medusa machine in the near lane and independent out here at and justice for all. Who's going to round two to kick off this event? Here's the green light now, Black Stain and Medusa dead even up and over no man's land. Here's Joey Andrews out of shape and he does pick up the win. Medusa and both Black Stallion barely crossing the finish line, but nonetheless, Black Stallion is your winner. Now next up here in round one competition, we have got Ryan Johnson in the U.S. Air Force Afterburner taking over the driving duties from now the departed Jeffrey Skipper in that U.S. Air Force Afterburner machine. He is now set to take on Violet Craddock in the Monster Mutt Poodle stage over there in the far lane representing the Dog Pound Race Team. Who moves on to round two? The Poodle takes on Afterburner. There's a green light now and down the straight stretch to the go. Poodle's got a slight lead off. Afterburner is out of shape and Violet Craddock and the Monster Mutt Poodle get the first round win over the U.S. Air Force Afterburner there on the trailer. Next up in round one, Joseph Nelson bringing over the brand new Mind Blower Machine which debuted earlier this year in the April season of Thunder. He is now set to take on Nugget and the Devastator Chevrolet, which is staged over here in the near lane. Both drivers getting some good seat time at this big event. Who's moving on to round two? Mind Blower taking on Devastator. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch and go. Nelson in the far lane has got a slight lead up and over the cars and Nugget came back on him in the end. Devastator picks up the win over Mind Blower. He put down the horsepower. Joseph Nelson got all crossed up there in no man's land and it costed him the victory. Devastator moving on to round two, but up next in round one, it's your boy Shaggy, Matt Cheever, Grave Digger the Legend from Poplar Branch, North Carolina, now set to take on Johnson Motorsports representative Jason Wook in the Prowler Machine. And the last time we saw that Prowler Machine do very well out here at a big show was North versus South with the Diecast Monster Truck Outlaws. He's looking to knock Shaggy off here in round one. Here's the green light now, Prowler and Grave Digger the Legend down the straight stretch. Up and over no man's land, we got a race here across the finish line. An incredible race here in round one. Prowler taking on Grave Digger the Legend. I'm not sure who did pick up the victory as they came across the line. As we look at a photo finish right here, your winner, Jason Wook the Crazy Cat. In Prowler, he knocks off the Legend early in round one and up next. We have got Aiden Johnson in the brand new Lumberjack machine from Johnson Motorsports. He is now set to take on Peanut in Bradley Graham's old Maximum Destruction. Stays there in the far lane. The truck did fairly well for Bradley Graham years ago. They restored the truck just recently and now Peanut has the driving duties. Both trucks stage at the line. Max D taking on Lumberjack. Here's their green light now. It looks like Max D's pulling a slight lead. Lumberjack now coming back on him. And both trucks, what an incredible race across the finish line. I do not know who got the win there as they went across the line. Aiden Johnson and Lumberjack started to come back on Max D when they crossed that last set of cars. Let's go back and take a look at an MTA replay. Down the straight stretch, you see him right here. Max D, from this angle, looks like he has a slight lead. But Aiden Johnson flying high up and over no man's land. Watch him right here when they come across that finish line. And the photo finish shows you right there. Aiden Johnson and Lumberjack is your winner. Now next up in round one action, we have got Rich Wagner and a little bit of old school wild hair. A nice tribute to old starving Marvin Smith who recently passed away and an awesome tribute to him and his legacy he left on the monster truck industry. Rich Wagner and the wild hair Chevrolet in the near lane. Old Chad legit, too legit. Tropical Thunder stage in the far lane, the owner of Bad Weather Racing. Both trucks stage down the straight stretch, they go. Whole shot to Tropical Thunder up and over no man's land. Some sick air by Wild Hair, but it may have costed him in the end. Chad legit got this truck across the finish line first. Rich Wagner was sailing the Wild Hair through the sky. What an incredible race here. He tried to come back on him. Here's your photo finish. It wasn't by much, but Chad legit and Tropical Thunder get the win in round one. And next up in round one, Downtown Mitch Brown and Bigfoot driving for Outlaw Motorsports. 
He is now set and ready to go in the far lane and ready to take on Aaron Church from Sky High Racing. Bakugan Dragonoid in the near lane. Who's going to round two? Bigfoot taking on Dragonoid. There's the green lane and Bigfoot's got him off the line. Aaron Church coming back on him now up and over the cars here. And both trucks are slow to go across the finish line. Problems for Bigfoot. He rolled backwards off the container there at the end of the track. But nonetheless, Aaron Church and Dragonoid get the win here in round one. And next up, Jason Craddock and the Chevrolet, better known as the Beast from K&J Motorsports, now ready to take on Jalen Buford in the USA One Chevrolet driving for Outlaw Motorsports. It's a battle of the bow tie here in round one. USA One taking on the Beast. Who's going to round two? One Chevrolet is. There's the green light now. Both trucks off to a good start. Up and over. No man's land here. USA One turns it over. And Jason Craddock and the Beast will get the win here early in round one. Tough break for Jalen Buford as we go back down to the MTA replay. You see both trucks come off the line fairly strong. Maybe a slight lead to USA One, but Jason Craddock wasn't playing no games. Watch the far lane. Jalen Buford gets a little out of shape. Caught the van stack right there in no man's land. Turn the truck over, and Craddock and the Beast get the win. Now next up in round one, John KDX back again in Bulldozer. And he is driving for No Fear Racing. And over here in the far lane is the Midnight Rider, Justin Lamb, who has just recently departed ways from Outlaw Motorsports. He took his truck and went on his own. Now an independent. Let's see what he's got out here for Bulldozer. Boat truck stage. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. A fairly hard start for both trucks. Up and over the cars. And Midnight Rider, Justin Lamb, is your winner here in round one. He puts the old bull on the trailer early. We'll see Midnight Rider back here at Injustice for All in round two. Next up here in round one, the Cowboy from Hell, Timothy Cantwell and Bounty Hunter, another driver for Outlaw Motorsports. He kicked off the May season of Thunder with a bang, claiming two Thursday Night Thunder championships. He's over here now ready to take on the rookie in the King Crunch Chevrolet in the far lane. Ready to go out of Spring, Texas. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch of the go. Ford and Chevrolet up and over No Man's Land. And Cantwell's in trouble. And Eric will get the win in the King Crunch Chevrolet. Over in the far lane, a hard bounce for Bounty Hunter. And he's on the trailer. Next up in round one, James Valencourt, a longtime MTA veteran in the Liquidator Ford. Now set to take on Overkill Evolution. Another Ford, this one out of Hagerstown, Maryland. That is Blake Mahoney behind the wheel of Evo in the far lane. Two Fords about to get it on here in and Justice for All. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. Overkill's got a lead off. Bailey Court trying to come back and couldn't come up with it. Gets in the Liquidator in the shutdown area. But Blake Mahoney and Overkill Evolution is your winner here in round one. He puts the old time veteran on the trailer. Next up in round one, Joshua Wells, the icon and grave digger out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, now set to take on the crazy bull. Michael Anderson and El Toro Loco ready to go in the far lane. He's got his hands full because Josh Wells knows what it takes to get it done on the circuit. The 2022 Live Wire Champion and Grave Digger. There's the green light. El Toro jumps the digger off the line. Up and over the cars here. Toro turns it over. And the Grave Digger will get the win. But I venture to say if El Toro Loco did not roll over there in no man's land, he would have had the Grave Digger's number early here in round one. Let's go ahead and go back to an MTA replay and check out what exactly happened right here off the line. Anderson caught Wells making a sandwich at the starting line. Look at the lead on him playing Gapplebees on the Grave Digger. Lost it there in no man's land. Turned the truck over. And that was all Josh Wells needed in the Grave Digger to pick up the win. MTA track crew and officials down there now getting ready to roll El Toro Loco back over. Anderson lost it there in no man's land. Got a little squirrely on him. Tore the body all up. El Toro Loco is on the trailer for the rest of the evening. But you got to believe Anderson and El Toro Loco was making a run for the money here tonight at And Justice for All. But moving on with round one competition. Up next, we have got none other than Ethan Wagner in the Cyclops Chevrolet. Now set to take on Kieran Adams in a brand new ride from K&J Motorsports. It's the Toyota known as Casper. Now the truck is making its debut here tonight. The crew says they got a lot of bugs to work out here yet still, but they're looking to go for it all at Injustice for All. Cyclops now taking on Casper down the straight stretch. They go, they're dead even. Up and over, no man's right here. Casper's upside down. Ethan Wagner and Cyclops gets the win. Kieran Adams in an almost identical run as El Toro turns it over. However, up next in round one, 
Carson Wells in son of a digger. Fire, that is. He is staged over here in the near lane, ready to take on another driver from Outlaw Motorsports, Brian Prazak in the Monster Patrol Chevrolet at a Portage, Indiana. Who goes on to round two? Son of a digger, fire, or Monster Patrol? Down the straight stretch they go. Son of a digger pulling a lead on Monster Patrol. Getting a little bit squirrely, and Carson Wells gets the win here in round one. He puts Monster Patrol on the trailer. And so far, a good start for No Fear Racing at Injustice for All. And next up in round one, we have got Lewis Thompson the fourth and the Wolverine Chevrolet. Stage now ready to go and take on Pop Steve Jones, who is the newest member to Johnson Motorsports Race Team, taking over the driving duties of the Brodozer. And now we got Lewis Thompson the fourth and the Wolverine Chevrolet at a Big Lake Minnesota stage in the near lane. Who's going on to round two? Brodozer and Wolverine. Here's the green light now. Both of off to a good start down the straight stretch. Up and over no man's land here. We got a race. And it came down to the very end of the finish line. Brodozer hit the seat container down there at the shutdown area. Lewis Thompson was trying to make up a little bit of ground as we go down to an MTA photo finish. Your winner is Pop Steve Jones and the Brodozer taking out Wolverine here in round one. And next up as we close out round one, the brand new ride for Jeffrey Skipper. The Air Force monster truck stays over there in the far lane and he has gone solely independent leaving Johnson Motorsports. And speaking of Johnson Motorsports, he draws up Chantel Bailey in the West Virginia Mountaineers stage in the near lane. And we all know about that truck. There's a green light now down the straight stretch. Two old teammates going head to head and Chantel Bailey and Mountaineer get the win over Jeffrey Skipper in his brand new U.S. Air Force monster truck. And we'll see the West Virginia Mountaineer back here at Injustice for All for round two competition. And now as we get set to kick off round two here at Injustice for All, we've got a lot more great trucks ready to compete head to head all for the championship here tonight. And up first, we've got Violet Craddock and the Monster Mutt Poodle representing the Dog Pound Race Team. Now set to take on Joey Andrews from K&J Motorsports in the Black Stallion Ford here in the near lane from Hagerstown, Maryland. Now, Joey Andrews, he's been doing quite well out here at these big events. Would want nothing more than to grab a big championship win here tonight. There's a green light now down the straight stretch. They're dead even up and over no man's land here. And Monster Mud is upside down. Violet Craddock in the far lane has turned the truck over, going over that last set of cars. Joey Andrews and Black Stallion gets the win here in round two. Monster Mud Poodle is on the trailer. Next up in round two, we've got Nugget returning in the Devastator Chevrolet. Now set to take on the crazy cat, Jason Wook from Johnson Motorsports Race Team in the Prowler Machine staged over here in the near lane. Who's going on to round three competition? Boat truck staged at the line. There's a green light now, and Devastator's got Prowler off the line through no man's lane here, and the crazy cat came back in the end. Jason Wook and Prowler picking up the win over the Devastator Chevrolet here in round two competition. Next up here in round two, we've got none other than Chad Legit to Legit, who looks strong there in round one. Tropical Thunder from Bad Weather Race Team. He is now set to take on Aiden Johnson in the Lumberjack Machine, the brand new ride from Johnson Motorsports, looking strong in round one as well. Who goes on to round three competition if they can get across the finish line first here in round two. Boat trucks now stage at the line. Here's the green light now down the straight trucks they go. They're hanging door into the door handle. Lumberjack with a slight lead on him and Tropical Thunder may have just come back and taken the win away from the Lumberjack machine in the far lane. Aiden Johnson hit the seat container down there at the finish line and it was just enough to hold him back, I do believe. As we go back down and take a look at the MTA replay, right here off the get-go, Lumberjack had a slight lead on Tropical Thunder. And right here, as they hit the first set of jumps, watch Lumberjack in the far lane, Pogo's it off the rear end, gets a little out of shape, and Chad Legit came on by right there. Not by much, but Tropical Thunder does get the win over Lumberjack in the far lane. Now next up at Injustice for All, Aaron Church and Dragonoid, the owner of Sky High Racing, coming back to round two competition, ready to go against Jason Craddock in the Beast Chevrolet from K&J Motorsports. Boat trucks look bad fast in round one competition. Dragonoid is dialed in here tonight per Aaron Church, and that's what he told us earlier. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. They go the Beast pulling on Dragonoid up and over the car, and Aaron Church coming back in the end. He pulled the trigger through no man's land, and Dragonoid will move on to round three at Injustice for All. The Beast is going home. Next up in round two, the Midnight Rider, driven by Justin Lamb, coming back to the line. 
And earlier we told you how he departed ways with Outlaw Motorsports. He wants to show them guys that he can do this just as well as anybody else, but on his own in that midnight rider. King Crunch, the Chevrolet out of Spring, Texas in the far lane. Does he have enough to knock off Midnight Rider? There's the green light down the straight stretch. King Crump got a lead on him. Up and over no man's land. And Justin Lamb came back on him. And a lot of the drivers are saying that right lane is going away. And these guys are trying to keep it corrected through no man's land. King Crunch over the wall, however. Midnight Rider is your winner. And next up. Blake Mahoney, the forward out of Hagerstown, Maryland, overkill evolution. He draws up against Joshua Wells, the icon, in the Gravedigger out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina. The 1950 Chevy panel wagon staged here in the near lane. Ford versus Chevrolet here in round two at Injustice for All. Who's going to round three? There's the green light now down the straight stretch. They're dead even up and over no man's land here in the Gravedigger. Gets the win over overkill evolution. Wells trying to shut it down before he gets into the other trucks. But nonetheless, the Gravedigger moves on to round three. Next up here in round two, Cyclops. Ethan Wagner looks strong in the Chevrolet in the first round. He draws up against Carson Wells in Son of a Digger Fire from No Fear Racing, staged over in the far lane. Now Son of a Digger look bad fast in round one competition. However, Ethan Wagner and Cyclops has been so close so many times. It's tonight, his night down the straight stretch. They go, they're dead even. Cyclops is a big time air, and son of a digger rolls it over. Carson Wells lost it in no man's land, rolled the truck over, but a smooth, clean pass in the near lane by Ethan Wagner and Cyclops. We'll see him back in the next round. What a great race that was, but now as we close out round two, Pop Steve Jones and the Brodozer, the newest acquisition for Johnson Motorsports behind the wheel of Brodozer. He is now set to take on a teammate in Chantel Bailey and the West Virginia Mountaineer who looked wicked fast in round one competition. Two teammates going head to head. It's a battle of Johnson Motorsports. Stage now, there's their green light and down the straight stretch they go. They're hanging dead even up and over no man's land. We got a race and the Brodozer pulled it out in the end. Mountaineer is on the trailer and Brodozer will be back for round three competition right here at Injustice for All. Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set to move on to round three at this show, I want to remind you that this Thursday, right here on the MTA YouTube channel, we kick off a brand new June season of Thursday Night Thunder. 16 of the best monster trucks are all going head-to-head -head on Thunder to kick off the June season. Now we're back here at Injustice for All for round three competition. And up first, we have got Jason Wolf, the crazy cat at a Johnson Motorsports in Prowler, now set to take on Joey Andrews, the Black Stallion Ford at a Hagerstown, Maryland. He has been running strong all night long here at Injustice for All. He wants to put K&J on top here tonight. Boat truck stays, there's the green light now. Johnson Motorsports and K&J down the straight stretch. Black Stallion's out of shape, and Jason Wolk and Prowler trying to shut it down. He picks up the win, the Crazy Cat will advance to semifinal competition. Tough break for the Black Stallion machine. Next up here in round three, we have got Aaron Church, the owner of Sky High Racing, taking on another team owner, Chad Legit, too legit from Bad Weather Racing and Tropical Thunder staged over here in the near lane. Both these guys have been running consistent and strong all night long. They're looking for the big win here tonight. Here's the green light now, Dragon Oid, Tropical Thunder, down the straight stretch, up and over no man's land here, and oh, look out, Dragon Oid is upside down in the shutdown area. Chad Legit and Tropical Thunder was closing the gap there as they approached the finish line, and Aaron Church is now upside down in Dragonoid. Going back to a photo finish, your winner, Aaron Church and Dragonoid, even though he turned it over, he'll be back for semifinal competition. Now next up here in round three, the outlaw, or should I say the icon, Josh Wells in the Gravedigger, the Chevrolet out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, staged over there in the far lane. He has not run that lane all night long, but Justin Lamb in the Midnight Rider had the quickest time in round two. He got lane choice, boat truck staged. Here's the green light now down the straight stretch. The Gravedigger's pulling the lead. Up and over, Gravedigger turns it over. He's over top the jersey wall, but Justin Lamb in the Midnight Rider pick up the win here in round three and Gravedigger is upside down. Wells seemed to have lost it there in no man's land. The truck took a bad bounce. He tried to drive out of it and fitting, he rolled over right next to his hauler and it looks like the tires may have grazed the side of it, but Gravedigger is gonna get loaded up and taken home. And next up as we close out round three, Ethan Wagner and Cyclops look strong all night. He's been consistent and been fast but so has Pop Steve Jones and the Brodozer from Johnson Motorsports over there in the far lane. 
This one ought to be worth the price of admission just in itself. Rotos are in Cyclops stage. Here's a green light and down the straight stretch they go. Up and over No Man's Land, another big top jump. Cyclops is upside down. Ethan Wagner skied that Chevrolet out through No Man's Land, tried to get it gathered back up, turned it over across the line, and nonetheless, he is your winner. Brodozer is on the trailer, and now we're jumping right into semifinal competition. We started with 32, we are now down to four. The crazy cat, Jason Wilkin Prowler, representing Johnson Motorsports, has been looking strong all night, but Aaron Church may just have his stuff good, nice, and tight, and dialed in here tonight for the Dragonoid team and Sky High Racing. Who's moving on to the finals at Injustice for All? Prowler takes on Dragonoid, there's the green light. Dragonoid's hanging right there with him, up and over the cars, and look out, Dragonoid's in trouble. And Prowler, Jason Wolf, gets the win. And Dragonoid, for the second time tonight, has rolled it over, he got too much air, and hit that first stack of cars, and it just sent him for a ride. Prowler is your winner. So we know Prowler is in the finals. Who's going to meet him there? Is it going to be Ethan Wagner and Cyclops who turned it over in that last round? They've got the truck patched back up. He's ready to go. And now he's set to take on Justin Lamb in the Midnight Rider stage in the near lane. Who meets Prowler in the finals? Boat truck stage of the line. We're about to go green down the straight stretch. They go hanging door handle to door handle. Midnight Rider's out of shape and Cyclops turns it over again. Ethan Wagner upside down for the second time tonight. I'm not sure who did get the win as Midnight Rider got a little out of shape coming across No Man's Land. Justin Lamb gathered it back up. Going back here to the MTA replay, you see him pretty much even. Watch the near lane in. Justin Lamb out of shape. Then go to the far lane. Cyclops hits the container at the end. Right there you see him. He did get the win. And Ethan Wagner will be in the finals. And ladies and gentlemen, this is what we all come to see. It is now final time here at Injustice for All. The crazy cat, Jason Wook in the Prowler machine, driving for Johnson Motorsports. Now set to take on Ethan Wagner and Cyclops, who has turned it over twice here tonight. Does the truck have enough for one more run? It is now final time and both trucks are staged. You will know that Ethan Wagner wants his first big win out here on the MTA circuit. Jason Wilkin Prowler looking for his first. Oh, I don't know what that was, ladies and gentlemen, but it looks like something blew up there on the stage. Nonetheless, we're getting right back down to the action. Cyclops, step. look out now. What is going on here? I'm not sure what's happening at the stage area, but we got a race to do. It's final time, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my word. Stuff is just blowing up on stage. Like I was saying, Prowler. Oh, my word. This is getting out of hand. We're getting ready to let these bad boys fly. Who is going to become the Injustice for All champion right here tonight? They went through 30 other trucks. These two are the last two standing. Prowler takes on Cyclops. Jason Wolf takes on Ethan Wagner. Both trucks are staged at the line. Who's going to win the championship here tonight? Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Both trucks are hard off the line. They're hanging dead even up and over no man's land here. And Wagner and Cyclops gets the win. Ethan Wagner pulls it out in the end. The Cyclops Chevrolet is on top here tonight over Johnson Motorsports in the Prowler machine. We're going to take you back to the MTA replay of the finals between Cyclops and Prowler. Going back right now, you see both trucks with an incredible start coming off the line, hanging dead even down the straight stretch. Watch here through no man's land. Ethan Wagner kind of nosed over there but corrected it and right there blows across the finish line leaving Jason Wilkin Prowler hanging on the C container. And ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to your aunt Justice for All champion right here tonight. Ethan Wagner and Cyclops, you my friend are the champion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll wrap up and justice for all right here tonight. I hope you guys all enjoyed the show, and thank you all for coming out and supporting the MTA YouTube channel. Be sure, if you haven't already, crush that subscribe button, and I'll catch you down the road. See you next time.